As we get even more evidence today that the big lie was a sham and a scam, the threats stemming from it are very real and very personal. Now, more than eight months after the Capitol attack, election workers and volunteers at all levels and their families are dealing with unprecedented threats of violence and death. And they're only getting worse. We reported earlier this month on a Reuters investigation, which revealed that hundreds of instances of harassment and intimidation resulted in only four known arrests and zero convictions. In Colorado, the state's top elections official, Secretary of State Jenna Griswold, says her staff has been alerted by the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security about physical threats against them. She requested private security only to be denied by the Colorado Independent Ethics Commission earlier this week. Our next guest is Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold. She's also the chair of the Democratic Association of Secretaries of State. Madam Secretary, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. Of course. Thank you for having me on. First, let's talk about your situation. Are you still receiving threats of violence and death threats? Yes, we're seeing election officials across the nation receive threats for simply doing our jobs. And unfortunately, uh, some of the main targets of secretaries of state are Democratic women. So we are seeing this as uh, just one more barrier for women running for office and frankly, for election officials doing our jobs. And the Democratic Association of Secretaries of State recognizes the risk to election officials, to secretaries of state, and are stepping in where they can, but unfortunately have not been able to in the state of Colorado because of our laws. So when your request for security was denied, are there other places you can go to make sure that you are safe in the near term? Well, we are definitely working on this situation to make sure that, you know, I have sufficient safeguards to do my job. But uh, unfortunately, we're seeing this across the nation. And it's not just threats to secretaries of state. It's not just our, our personal safety that's involved. It's actually the administration of elections. Uh, a recent report uh, outlined that 60 percent of election workers in big jurisdictions are considering retiring. Uh, you know, people do these jobs because they love the nation, because they want to make sure that every eligible American can have their voice heard. Uh, but the fact is that we're seeing a vitriol that we really haven't seen before. So we really need to make sure that the federal government and state governments respond very quickly so that it does not undermine the ability of this country to administer uh, just great elections. Madam Secretary, the... Um... Our last guest is running to be a secretary of state in Arizona, and, and he describes his opponent as very much a, an adherent to some of the false claims about fraud being a factor in 2020. We know because Bill Barr and Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy and all sorts of Trump allies have assured us there was no fraud. But a lot of people still believe that. And I wonder if you can just expand on the peril of having people in an office like yours who believe this nonsense and are purveyors of a dangerous lie. Yes, we're at code red for democracy. The very people who have been lying to the American public about 2020 are now preparing to run for secretary of state. In fact, in every swing state where there's a 2022 race, we have a Republican running who is either at the insurrection, a drafter of voter suppression, or lying about the 2020 election results. Uh, and the, the danger of this cannot be unstated. We need people who will oversee elections that believe in democracy, in fact, and the will of the voters. Um, but I, I do think it's worth noting that this, this battle for the soul of our nation, for the continuation of democracy, is not over. We need to make sure that every single viewer is paying attention to local elections. We need to make sure that the people uh, spreading the big lie become big losers. Because right now they are incentivized to lie, to try to get power and keep power. Uh, and until they stop losing, they will not stop. In 2022, democracy is going to be on the ballot and every American voter needs to pay attention.